Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel! So today I'm going to be teaching you all how to make this very cute zipper pouch bag. Um, I use mine for school, but I just recently made this really cute one and I'm going to put makeup in that. So let's get started! And if you haven't already, please body slam that subscribe button mate! What are you waiting for? I thought we were friends here! You need three pieces of paper. The next ingredient is a ruler. Okay, so you're gonna need two different types of fabric, one for lining and one for um, the outside that you wanna put in the outside and they have to be at least half a yard. You need a nine inch zipper. So with the paper, basically what we're gonna do is just tape the paper together and create like a big piece of paper so that way it's easier to make the pattern because the pattern is 30 width by 23 length and that's in centimeters so basically where I ended in the blue line as you see I'm gonna cut it off and then attach it here so that way I have like a giant square and then you know just reuse paper because you don't need more than three pieces of paper for this pattern So your pattern should look like this and then we're going to cut it out and then put it on to the fabric. So before starting, um, you might need to iron your fabric like how I need to iron my fabric but if it's already like nice and crispy and straight then you don't need to iron it. But I'm ironing it, you know how I do. If y'all have been here before, y'all already know I love me some ironing. So here is the pattern cut out. Okay, so now you're gonna pin your pattern to your fabric piece and then we're just gonna cut that. And I got the fabric from eBay, if you guys are wondering. It is super cute Indian fabric. And then I got the red one from Walmart. So now what you're gonna do is just cut, 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 cut. And like I always say, do not waste any of the fabric, so try to cut it on the edge and whatever fabric you don't use, you could use it for like another activity. So now you have two beautiful square pieces of fabric. This looks so desi. I love it. I literally love it. So now what you're going to do with the fabric that you want to be on the outside of your pouch, you're going to put the zipper on top of it with the zipper head facing down and then just pin it on the top. And just an FYI, we're putting it on the good part of the fabric, not the back part. So this is optional, but I'm changing my regular foot to a zipper foot and I suggest you guys get a zipper foot because it'll be so much easier to put zippers in. Um, I got this from Amazon, I'll link it below. Um, it literally will save so much time and make your zippers look more professional. So start sewing as close as you can to the zipper teeth but not on the zipper teeth and not on the middle part because that could break your needle. And just start sewing like how you would normally sew a regular straight stitch. Make sure we are back stitching. It should not look like this once you have sewn everything. So now you're going to put the other fabric on top of it and kind of sandwich it. So you're going to put the other fabric on the back side, not the good side where like the, the main print is showing, but like you're going to put it on the back side and then you're just going to pin it to the top and then we're going to stitch over that like how we did the first one. Okay, so when sewing this, please be careful and try not to sew on top of the metal part and the zipper teeth. So just feel out where the zipper is as you go. As you can see, my finger is feeling out where the zipper is. So I know I'm not going to sew on top of it. So this might be a little bit tricky. So take your time with this. Once you have sewn everything, we're going to open it up and make sure everything is sewn. 
because sometimes you can miss stuff. It's okay. You know, like I always said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You could go back and fix your mistakes. You don't get a damn cookie for doing it right the first time, okay? I mean, it would feel great to get a cookie for that, but you know, you don't. So flip your fabric to the side that you want to be shown on the outside. Grab the bottom of that fabric and then you're going to attach it to the other side of the zipper that hasn't been sewn yet. And then you're just going to pin and sew across like how we did last time. So just like the last time, make sure you're keeping an eye out for where the zipper teeth are and you're not sewing on top of the zipper teeth and make sure you're taking your pins out as you sew. It should now look like this and then you're gonna flip it over and do it to the other side we're literally doing the same thing we did last time so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna grab the fabric align it with the zipper and pin and then just sew across It should now look like this and what we're going to do is we're just going to open it inside out. So this process is super easy. You just open the zipper up and then everything should just fall right into place. Like you'll see the outside and the inside of this pouch. So after you've checked everything and made sure everything has been sewn properly. You're going to need to open it up and then put it on the other side where the inside lining fabric is and then you're just going to zip the zipper up and then what we're going to do is we're going to sew on the two ends we're going to sew right across both ends to make sure the zipper is directly in the middle what you're going to do is you're going to fold your pouch hot dog style and then cut a little piece of the fabric off so that way it'll be like a mark for like the middle so that way you know where to put your zipper down So you see what that little triangle is now, what you're going to do is you're going to place your zipper right in between that and then you're going to pin and then we're just going to sew right across. So for the side that has the zipper head, what you're going to do is you want to open it up a little bit and then match the middle of the zippers and kind of like push them together so that way when you sew them they're sewn together so there's not that much of a gap left when you do open it up. Okay, so make sure you do not sew on top of the metal part, like I said before and always in like my previous video, that can really break your needle. And I am and so I strict am so about that, about let me that. tell y'all what, what happened. happened. So I live in the south and I was um, volunteering at this place to do alterations and stuff like that, like the lady was teaching me everything. So I was doing zippers on jeans and this guy had come in with like really thick overalls. So uh, I was taking the zipper out of it and all of a sudden I did not realize that I sewed on top of the metal part and my needle, like the second my needle hit the metal part, the piece of the needle landed in my eye. Yeah, I was never the same. That's why I'm always like, y'all be careful. Don't sew on the metal part and always backstitch, okay? Because trust me, I had to learn it and I learned it the hard way. Okay, it should now look like this. Everything is sewn up. So what you want to do is you want to cut a little bit off the ends. Do not cut too much. Cut enough to where like you maybe have like a centimeter or two. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some bias tape or just a regular piece of fabric to the ends of it. So that way it looks really clean and very professional. As you can see, I am sewing with one hand because if you watch my AliExpress haul video, you'll understand that my damn stand that I bought for my recordings and stuff like that broke. Teehee. Okay, so now you can leave it like this because it's done pretty much. It looks like this, it's just flat. So if you like it flat, leave it like this. You don't have to go any further in this video. You could stop now, but make sure you do subscribe and you do like if you are stopping now. But it literally looks super, super, super cute. You could already see it's turning out already. Okay, so for those of you who don't like it like that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip it inside out again 
So that way it's you're facing the lining side. So what you want to do here is grab the ends of this pouch and you're going to fold it into a triangle and then you're just going to fold the bias tape down. And what we're going to do is we're going to measure at least two and a half to three inches wide. And then we're going to sew right across that triangle. So make sure you mark all four sides with chalk and um, repeat the same steps for all four sides and you're just going to sew it down. It is so simple, so easy. So the triangle should look like this. So all you need to do now is just turn it inside out and now you have the cutest little pencil case, makeup case, pouch ever. Like this is so cute, so unique. I have been using these for like five, six years now. I literally use the same. These bags are great for travel and they actually do hold a lot of stuff, like a lot more than what you think it is. I've literally used this bag throughout college. I love this bag because you can literally store a lot of stuff in here more than what you think you can. And um, it's great for traveling. Like if you want to put like your makeup, you want to put your earrings and stuff like that. It literally holds everything together. And these bags are very durable, especially if you're sewing it the way I do very very durable like the bag that at the end that you'll see the banana one that one I have been using for like six years now and it has not not even a wear or a tear so yeah so here are the end results of my bag I really hope you enjoyed this video and please tag me on Instagram if you do decide to create one of these I would love to see how yours came out as always thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe